Well, how you doing? So today, although there are some fans here, we're not doing we're not doing fan stuff. We're gonna do we're gonna do something else. So on the old Twitterverse, Anno sent me a tweet saying, "Hey, I uh, can't remember exactly. It was something to the effect of, can you take one of them Peltier um, Tech coolers and beat a radiator with it?" Which I don't see why not. They do they're not very efficient, but they do a good job cooling and heating. I guess, and I've never messed with a Peltier cooler, so I went and I have one somewhere. Aha, I have one right here. So I went and bought one. This is one that's pretty much the same size as a CPU. Um, and I do have another water block from, this is the one I got off Wish. So it's not the best, but it does do good. Or it does work, I guess. I don't know, I don't know if you call it good. But essentially, this is the idea. We're going to take, well, we're gonna run the radiator first. We're gonna run these three A12X25 fans on the radiator for you know the standard amount of time, 45 minutes till everything evens out. We're gonna run it on the 7700K and uh, the water block I got is just uh, Supremacy Evo from EK. We're gonna see what the temperatures are in the room around ambient. And then I'm going to remove this radiator. I'm going to add this other water block and we're going to sandwich this. We're gonna basically try to suck the heat from the system with this tech cooler. And then we're gonna have to cool the other side because it gets quite hot. And that's where I got this NH-U12A. So essentially, instead of using one radiator and three fans, we're going to use a tech cooler, another water block, and an air cooler. So um, uh, there's, other than the fact that this is just gonna be interesting, I don't really see why you would ever wanna do this, but it's fun. That's all, that's all that matters to me. It, it might not make any sense, but Pretty much everything I do on this channel uh, doesn't make any sense. Also, shout out to Mark for uh, telling me about this thing. This is this is essentially a 24 pin breakout for my power supply. He saw me butcher my power supply in that one video. He's like, dude, they make things for you. And essentially what it does is take your 24 pin and you get 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, and kind of get headers for all of them. And then you can control the power supply from this switch. So it's really good for uh, bleeding air from a water cooling loop. And it's also good if you want to plug a tech cooler into it to heat that. So. I guess the first thing we got to do is obviously run the standard test with uh, the 360, see where, where our baseline is going to be. That'll be about 45 minutes. I'll be back with you after that. This thing should be done. I won't fire it back up because if you can't hear it, I'm sure it's quite annoying. But let me, let me do this and I'll be right back. All right, back with you. So after that allotted amount of time, the uh, three A12X25s on the 360 finished about 76.6 on the average, I think it was, and that's a delta of 52.8. So now we need to decide uh, how we're going to attach this to this sandwich between this. So uh, we'll leave that as, as is for now. Let's find out how we're gonna do something. The printer is done, which is good because I'll probably want to use it for some sort of bracket that we need to come up with, I assume. Oh man, I forgot about this thing. So this this has those two A25s that I painted way back in the day. Still work great, but there they are. They're painted, they look, they look pretty. Okay, so we need this to do this. Where's the other bracket? So let's get the old thinking cap on here. So this normally just goes like this. They should like line up, right? This could be as simple as just getting a bolt and a nut. So this is actually going to be quite simple, and I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be to begin with. Essentially, I got some M3 lock nuts, M3 bolt, and what we're gonna do is just take the air cooler, put those bolts through the other water block, and mount it like so with uh, with the tech, obviously, in between, like so, and we'll see if it works. It should be, I don't even know why I thought I had to print something. Let's put it together. I'm not gonna lie, that actually went together so easy, I feel like I'm cheating. Essentially, it's just an air cooler and a water block bolted together, 
with some M3 bolts and some lock nuts with the uh, with the tech between it and a lot of well, not, not a lot the perfect amount of thermal compound and it, there's I mean it's gonna work right it's gonna do something uh, I believe I got the tech the right way around I did test it to see which way it's hot side but it'll be pretty obvious once I plug it in and see if this is actually essentially this is gonna become a heater and then we're gonna just try to suck the heat out of the water uh, through the tech into the air cooler first I guess let's plug it in here we need a fan I need to put a fan on here I need one of these fans now I would think that as long as we can pull the heat out of the water which I wouldn't see why we couldn't this should do better I mean efficiency wise it's gonna suck so I mean we're using a water block and an air cooler so we're using both types of cooling methods for normal CPO cooling not to mention the power draw from using uh, a Peltier cooler so efficiency no dice but everything else is going to be should work now as long as everything's hooked up right should immediately start feeling this thing like some sort of tiny little space heater yeah i can definitely feel the water block getting cold yeah we're doing things i mean it feels cold so let me hook this up to the loop here We'll get Ida 64 run again and see if we notice a difference uh, or how long it takes to cool down the water. Watch it not work at all. Watch it not work at all. Wouldn't that be a bummer? But I think it will. So the system works as such. The uh, the CPU heats the water. The water runs into this other water block from uh, Wish.com, which uh, is cooled by this Peltier, which then heats this heat sink, which is cooled by this fan, which runs on another power supply. So this is very efficient. It's a uh, next next level stuff. So the loop's running. I guess we can make this quite make it a little bigger here. So there we go. We're running, um, slowly climbing. So we're just gonna flip it on and see if we if we notice anything. Still going up, so I think I might not have a proper connection here. Let me check, let me double check. Unless it's just absolutely not going to work. Watch it not work at all. Wouldn't that be a bummer? Which is possible. Wouldn't be the first project I have that it's absolutely didn't work. Yeah, the block is definitely getting cold. So I turned the pump off just to double check that the, uh, that it was working and it is. And as you can see, our temperatures are climbing up even though the load is turned off. So I guess we'll turn the pump back on and see if that, see if we can get it back under control. So I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit with no load on the CPU, just to see if we can get the water temperature down, maybe below ambient. Ambient is like 24.1. So if we can maybe get below that, we can draw some sort of conclusion. I still think I need to find a better water block. I should have bought one, the wishwood.com. It does work, but I mean, Let's be honest, a lot of work didn't go into designing this thing. It is just enough to get by. But we'll see what happens. I'll be back with you in just a little bit here. Two hours later. So as you can see here, things are not going as well as I thought. I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, that that is a fact. You can see the little spike where I started OBS for the screen capture, but that's as cold as we're gonna get. So my hopes of the below ambient were not even in the realm of possibilities. At least for this uh, this tech, but you know, if we had a better tech, you know, better water block, maybe we get lower temperatures. But this is good; it's going to get. So now I guess it's just time to see. Um, can it can it keep the CPU from throttling? I don't think there's a chance we're going to beat the, the the radiator at this point. But you know, if we can keep it from throttling, that might be something. So I guess we'll start that test, and uh, hopefully, we'll see how that goes. So, stand by. Well, uh, I think you can see how this turned out. Uh, it was throttling. And then as soon as I tried to start OBS for you guys to see uh, how bad it was throttling, which currently was 10%, but it looks like it was, you know, 10, 20% th throttling maxed out temperatures. It's quite, quite toasty. This didn't work out at all. Bummer. I mean, not to say it couldn't. Maybe with a better water block or a beefier Peltier, uh, it could. But this way, no. So I guess uh, it was unsuccessful. But I guess we answered uh, Anno's question, if that's how you say his name. Uh, can this setup, this Peltier and uh, an air cooler and a water block, 
take the place of a 360 millimeter radiator? It cannot. Uh, it can't at all. And well, it killed the computer really. So I guess we'll do a sanity check. I just want to make sure that this is actually working. So I'll just take this block off real quick and try not to touch any of the wires here. And we'll just make sure that it's cooling down. You know, wouldn't that be, that'd be hilarious if it didn't do anything. It wasn't even working the whole time. Got oh, stuck. There we go. All right. Yeah, that, that's definitely, definitely working. So just didn't work. But it was fun trying it, so thank you guys for uh, giving me the idea. If you got any more ideas, just follow me on Twitter. Tweet at me uh, if it's something cool or something I just want to try. We'll give it a shot, see if it works. doesn't have to work. It's just the process of uh, testing it out that's fun. Until next time.